Dear friends and my dear students, today we are going to discuss about the symptoms and second part of the thyroidal effect, especially regarding the hypothyroid effect of child. The expected symptoms of a hypothyroid child may be about dry skin or fatty body or uh, asymptomatic or a very good baby etc. are discussed in previous classes but today I am going to discuss about the uncommon or the unexpected symptom of a child with a hypothyroid that is uh, about the prolonged or persistent jaundice. As you know, there are so many other causes of neonatal jaundice or icterus neonatal is there, about Gilbert's disease is there, Wilson's disease is there and other uh, genetic disorders are there or infections are there. But here in this case our child is having persistent jaundice or prolonged jaundice uh, due to the defective hepatobiliary uh, system growth factor. That means here the uh, enzyme bilirubin glucuronyl transferase is very essential for the conjugation of bile uh, but he, in this case there is a lack of or the defective enzymatic action of this uh, glucuronyl transferase enzyme and they, thereby the same uh, uh, bilirubin may be accumulated in the blood itself and thereby uh, the child may, uh, seems to have some uh, unconjugated bilirubin or uh, hyper uh, bilirubinemia may be there and we may consider it as a neonatal jaundice. And uh, on examination or uh, on inspection of the case, uh, our uh, hypothyroid child may having some uh, relatively narrow forehead and the face may be a chubby face or the nostrils may be a broad nostrils or the uh, nasal bridges are not uh, uh, developed properly and uh, on examination of face uh, the child always open mouth with a dribbling of saliva and a large tongue with a swollen lips that means the child is having a relatively narrow uh, forehead then uh, sorry open mouth then broad or flat nose then large tongue then Solemn lips. This may be the appearance of our child with a hypothyroid one, and on looking, the face may be a puffy face. Puffy face, I mean, an edematous face. In cretinism, you know that. Uh, the child appearance of the facial appearance of the child may like that of a moon face. Here, the face of a child is very of fever. And in this case, we may misdiagnose it as a case of uh, nephrotic one or uh, in relation with some renal problems, the child may have some renal problems. It is not because of uh, any defect in the renal system. Here the puffiness or the blottedness 
uh, of the face may be due to or it is due to the uh, deposition of the mycopolysaccharides and hyaluronic acids along with water molecules then that causes the appearance of a uh, moon face or a puffy face like that because uh, most of we people may misdiagnose and we may consider it as a renal one and on that basis we may prescribe either our a piece or a, uh, a calicarb or like a podium in relation with the upper eyelid or lo lower eyelid or entire eyelid but actually it may be a case of uh, uh, thyroid one and uh, on examination of the fingers, the uh, nail, a nail is very poorly growth. That means uh, a poor nail growth is there and uh, on examination of the neck of the child. As you know in case of our Barretta carp, there is short thick neck is there. That means a weak, puny, sickly child with a short, thick uh, neck. That can be seen in uh, uh, our Barretta cow. And uh, then uh, regarding the milestone development. Here the short, thick neck is due to the defect in the uh, linear growth of the uh, cervical vertebrae. In hypothyroidism, the linear growth is severely affected and that's why the child seems to have a standard growth. But here the, uh, in uh, particular about the neck, the neck region seems to be very short due to the defective linear growth of the cervical vertebrae and the child is having the symptom like that of our Barretta carp that is short thick, uh, uh, thick neck. And uh, next is about the milestone development. As you know, the child is supposed to have a normal milestone development. Milestone development that does not mean only in physical uh, growth of a child. In this case, uh, it affects the uh, cycle level or the uh, psychological status of the child is also severely affected. That means uh, depending upon the age or the depending upon the month of the growth of the child, the child uh, is supposed to assume some qualities. That means the child can uh, recognize who is who. Uh, whether it is uh, uh, his or her parents or her relatives or cousins or whether the person is a strange one uh, all these uh, uh, things can uh, th uh, things are coordinated by the uh, processing of our brain but in this case the child may not be able to process all these uh, events and uh, uh, the on examination the child may having either a mild or a moderate or a severe mental retardations may be uh, seen in uh, hypothyroid child so it is very essential or it is very crucial to check, check the thyroidal values uh, especially within a period of uh, two months or uh, within a period of three years because during, during that period the proper brain development takes place. So uh, regarding the uh, cycle milestone the child may having either mild or moderate uh, level of uh, um, MR that is mental retardation or the IQ of the child may be seems to low less than uh, uh, 60 uh, so uh, it is very important to check the psychological milestone and uh, uh, along with the uh, cycle milestone the uh, physical milestones also seems to be very delayed that means the child is uh, 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 supposed to or expected to have some physical growth that means the child has to sit or the child has to turn, the child has to hold her, uh, his uh, neck or head or the child has to walk or ch child has to uh, uh, do some uh, something like that uh, uh, physical growth. But here the child may not have the normal expected physical growth or the most uh, uh, common PC of the child, uh, parents may be delayed uh, eruption of the um, deciduous teeth or the permanent teeth and there may be open frontal all this uh, indicates that there is defect in the uh, uh, calcium metabolism and all this calcium metabolism is mainly regulated by the thyroid and parathyroid hormones and due to the defect in the uh, thyroid itself it uh, adversely affects the parathyroidal cells and thereby uh, calcium metabolism is severely uh, uh, disturbed and thereby the child may having some physical uh, imbalance uh, uh, that is uh, about the uh, physical uh, delayed milestone development and on examination of the child or on uh, palpating the child 
our uh, calcarea carb is uh, uh, very cold or very sweaty very calm skin is there here uh, because of the hypothyroid status you know that uh, the one of the main function of the thyroid hormone is regulation and regulating the normal temperature of our body or normal metabolism of our body due to the uh, effect of the thyroidal deficiency it causes a, a depleted or a low level of body temperature and that is why on, on palpating uh, the or on touching the uh, uh, patient's skin the skin seems to be subnormal that means very cold or very calm or a very uh, very uh, very uh, cold skin is the uh, due to the subnormal uh, uh, bmr or the subnormal temperature and on uh, about the pulse rate also the pulse uh, uh, pulse rate may be very low due to the subnormal activity of the cardiac and the respiration may also be subnormal and all these subnormal temperature uh, subnormal pulse and subnormal um, uh, blood count also there that means the child is very anemic or plethoric uh, as in case of our calcarea cup. These are the uh, delayed milestone development is there then uh, uh, subnormal pulse or temperature etc. And uh, <clears throat> you should keep in mind that uh, your child, uh, your patient may not have all the set of symptoms in a particular uh, case. Your child may having or your patient may having uh, any single symptoms or a single complaint or it may be in combination. That means you cannot uh, expect in a patient with hypothyroid with all the symptoms. So your child, uh, your patient may having only one or two symptoms. All the signs and symptoms are depends on the uh, degree of the deficiency or, or the excess or, and the duration of the thyroidal hormone uh, hormone deficiency or excess. And uh, next about the uh, clinical effect of the uh, thyroidal deficiency in early childhood. That means during the uh, school age group. That can be studied in the next class. Thank you for your watching and thank you for your cooperation. Thank you.